Well, the radar active behind me here at this noontime as we track a line of thunderstorms, uh, storms that have had a history of producing severe weather. Again, tornado warning was issued for southwestern Connecticut. Multiple reports of wind damage there. They'll be out investigating that here or later today or tomorrow. Right now, though, the main concern with this line of storms has been a frequent lightning as well as torrential downpours. In fact, there is now a flash flood warning that's in effect for western Massachusetts and parts of uh, the Hartford suburbs as well. This line is mostly lifting up towards the north and east. So we're thinking that for the most of the afternoon, even early evening, this is going to steer clear of our area. Now we've seen spotty showers that have been popping up over the course of the morning, and that risk will be with us this afternoon. And they could contain some brief heavy downpours and even some embedded thunderstorms. So it's a new month, but the same weather pattern here for today, tomorrow, unsettled conditions. As you've been seeing so far today, not a washout. There's dry stretches in between, but boy, is it humid, very humid air over the course of this week, including for the 4th of July. The humidity will start to drop a little bit in the weekend, but hot and humid for the 4th with a lower chance for thunderstorms here, it looks like, by the end of the week. Right now, it's 77 thunders in uh, Smithfield, 77 in Providence, mid 70s in Taunton. We've still been dealing with fog along the coastline. The temperature is a little bit cooler there with that uh, misty air. You can see it from Block Island, this Champlain's Road here at this noontime. Visibility still at about a half mile westerly Newport and Groton this morning, but it improves to 10 miles towards Providence and uh, Pawtucket. Widening out that view on uh, the satellite and radar stalled front remaining over the area. That's been the focus here for showers and storms along and ahead of that front. And you can see there's spotty south and the east. We're going to have to keep an eye though because at any point today could see like what they're seeing over uh, western central Massachusetts this noontime some thunder and lightning and here's a future cast what it shows for us into the rest of the afternoon and you can just see these spotty showers passing through occasional heavy downpour even the threat of maybe some lightning five o'clock in the evening and we'll continue with that overnight tonight shower thunderstorm possible low clouds and fog returning to the area and we'll start off with that Tuesday morning Tuesday's not a wash out in fact a better chance of getting into some peaks of sunshine on Tuesday afternoon still can't rule out a shower a thunderstorm mostly over our northern and western Western suburbs for this afternoon, mostly cloudy, very humid. That shower, thunderstorm, about 70 overnight tonight, and then up to about 83 tomorrow. Clouds, and hazy sun, and that spot shower or thunderstorm. If you're headed to the beaches, you'll have to dodge a shower and that fog. There's also a high risk for rip currents along the coastline today due to that just persistent wind from the south southwest over the last few days. 86 for your high on Wednesday afternoon. Maybe trying to catch some fireworks Wednesday evening. Overall, looking okay. Partly cloudy, hazy, and humid. We may see some fog later in the night. Best chance of a thunderstorm on Wednesday is going to come during the late afternoon or early evening. And I have a dry right now for the 4th of July. There's a small chance of a thunderstorm, but overall it looks like just a hot and humid 4th this year. Starting off the little bit of fog still on Thursday, even Friday mornings. And right now the weekend looking hot, humid, and partly sunny. Up or 80s during the day and nighttime low staying at about 70 to 71 this week ahead. So feeling very much like the dog days of summer here. But it looks like overall the weather starts to improve after today. All right, Michelle, thanks.